hit squad. Ha, ha. And reckless. You know what I'm saying, MC Doc, baby. We came to do this. You heard? We popping with it, y'all, man. You now with the coolest dude on YouTube, the Spiffy Bro for 54. Hey, check this out, y'all. It's been a few days since I ain't been on here doing a couple of videos. But it was a reason, y'all. Hey, what it is is, I'm going to tell y'all before we get to the video. What it is is, I've been looking. I already knew my pops was gone. But it's like my pops left some brothers. You know what I'm saying? So what it was is, hey, I found my brothers, y'all. You know what I mean? And I've been looking for them for 54 years. And it's like, and I've never seen a photo of my pops. So now I've seen photos of my pops. My life is complete, man. That's all I wanted to say is, and then it took me to like search for them. So it was a few days I was searching for them that I could have been doing videos, but that was very important to me, y'all. So I apologize for that. I'm back. We're about to get back to work. You know what I'm saying? It's just been an ecstatic year already so far. Just imagining you having a whole nother side of family and you got to let them know you on earth. And I was able to do that, man. So that was the most beautifulest thing in my life right about now. You know what I mean? My wife, very supportive of it. You know, so I've been talking to my little bro. You know, so I have a younger bro, two older bros. If they come to find out, we got nine more. You know what I mean? Real talk. So, you know, I'm very happy, y'all. That's what I've been doing. I ain't gonna hold y'all up, talk y'all to life. But we about to jump into this video about my boys, Backstreet Boys, and it's called Taking Chances. Because when I got on archives, searching for my folks, I was taking chances. You know what I'm saying? And it paid off, but... Let's get into this video, man, with the coolest dude on YouTube, the Spiffy Bro for 54. Hit! <laughs> see, we finna see what they talking about, man. Backstreet Boy, chances. Let's go. <laughs> Like, just say, you just happen to go somewhere. You smile at a woman being you. You know what I mean? She smiled back. And just say, like, a, a, a little, you know, conversation come out of that. You know what I'm saying? A little friendly little conversation leads to, you know, phone number exchanges or something like that, in other words. And then you meet somebody that you just eventually can fall in love or be in love with. And it's like that moment at that place where you were, if you wouldn't have smiled at her, and she wouldn't have smiled back at you, you wouldn't have never knew that that was the person that's probably that was for you. So far, just the way you started off, you got to look at it like that. You happen to just be on the Metro link, smile at somebody, then that happened to be your future wife or something like that. Hey, man, on the real, man, love is like the way it becomes, man. Some people got to take their time, you know what I mean? And like slow down with like, because that's what they're looking for, just a relationship. You know what I mean? But some people are looking for soulmates. You know what I mean? I have a soul mate. You feel? Let's get into this song. What's a guy like me what? doing in a place like this? I could have just walked by. Who would have thought? What are the chances that we ended up dancing? Like two in a million, like once in a life. That I could have found you. What if I had an ex for your name? And time hadn't stopped when you said it to me. Of all of the plans that I could have made, of all of the nights that I couldn't see. What's a girl like you doing in a place like this? 
It's like, what are the chances of that? Feel me? What is the chances of you meeting somebody on the caliber of that? Or somebody that you just fell in love with, you know what I'm saying, from just being in a specific spot at a specific time. And that happens. Everybody met somebody that they were in love with or whatever from somewhere. You probably went to the Walmart real quick to go get you some little house shoes or some anything and ran into that girl. You feel me? What are the chances? And then it's like, if it worked, it worked. If it don't, then it just be that, you know, everybody trying to just conquer as many people as they can on earth. That's all. But you shouldn't do that because sex is forbidden by God. Don't marriage. Let's go. What is the chance? Is it fate? Who am I? Who's to say? Don't know exactly what it means. Is hey. it love? Is it pain? Where it leads, who can say? Maybe you and I were meant to be. See, what is the chances, man? Like, I'm going to give y'all another little synopsis and another little story real quick. It's like, okay, the person I'm married to right now, we've been married 10 years. But we were together when we were 16 and 17. She lived in New York, New Jersey, around the world. I was doing stuff, moving around. It's like for God to bring us back together. And that was my first love. What are the chances? Of that happening, y'all. You feel me? Everybody knows got another maid in their life or whatever, but it was like your first love. You know what I'm saying? At 16 and 17, got the pictures to show it. When we were 16 and 17, and now we 54 and 53. What are the chances of that happening, man? That's my soulmate, though. I just wanted to give y'all a quick story. Let's get it. <laughs> Subscribe, like, and share to the video, man. What are the chances? You know what I'm saying? Holler at your boy. Hit!